There are times when a thread chart needs to be edited. Perhaps new colors are added or some colors have been dropped from a line. You can keep your thread charts updated as these changes occur. First, let's talk about adding a thread color. Again, this can be done either through the My Threads Docker or the My Threads dialog box. For My Threads Docker, click on My Thread Charts and then click on Manage. Select the brand of thread you wish to edit. For this example, I'll edit the Isochord chart. Notice that I can rename a chart or I can delete a thread chart if I will never need a particular thread chart. We will select Add to add a new thread color. Click on Mix and then More Colors and then choose the Custom tab. The most accurate way to enter a new thread is through its RGB value. These are generally provided by a manufacturer of thread. You would enter the values and then press OK. Perhaps you don't have the RGB values and you want to add a thread color. You can use the thread mixer box and click on an area that is close to the color of thread that you have. Lay a thread strand on the area and try to match it as best you can. As I click on the different colors, I can also change the value with the slider on the right. So after selecting the color, click OK, and then assign the color code that is on your spool and assign the color name on the spool. This is the isochord chart, and I'll click OK. The thread is placed at the end of the isochord chart. By clicking on the code, I will sort the colors by their code number. If I click on name, it will sort the colors alphabetically by name. If I click on the titles again, it will reverse this, the order of the sort. You can also search for a specific color in this search box. Let's say later we found out the RGB colors for this thread that we added, and we need to edit the thread. All we have to do is click on Edit, and then click on Mix, and then More Colors, and then Custom. And I can change then the RGB value and get that color to its correct color. By clicking OK and OK again, that color has been updated. If a particular color is removed from a thread chart, you can also edit the brand. You search for the color that you wish to remove, and we're going to remove this one that we just added. You're going to select it and click on Remove. You will need to confirm the deletion, and then the color will be removed from the chart. Keep in mind that the delete at the top will delete the entire chart and not just that particular thread color. Remove is what removes the selected color. Click on Close and then OK. I can do all those same things through the dialog box by cl clicking on Create and Modify. This brings up that same Manage Thread Chart dialog box and I can edit, I can remove, and I can add colors. For specific designs, you may want to change the name of the color to the location in the design. So let's say I want to change this one green color to where it is used in the design. I can click on Edit and highlight the color name and then type in Leaves and Stems. That way, when I click OK, you can see that the location of that color is now in place of the color name. 
This changes it only for this specific design and not for the thread chart.